In this video, I'll be explaining the new features within KineMaster 6 that's confusing a lot of people online. I'll be showing you how to use those new features so that way you can jump to the new updated KineMaster and leave the old version. So I'm here in KineMaster on my iPad and right when you join, it gets very confusing because you're in this weird looking TikTok video, Instagram reels, where you're just scrolling through all these videos and there's hearts and there's comments and it's very confusing. But what it actually is, these are customizable templates that you can use within your videos. So you can scroll through this mix section and it'll give you some ideas here and you can click this use button, but you can also go over to the search bar here and search for things. So for example, I can type in up here a uh, camera and what it'll do is actually pull up a whole bunch of templates related to cameras. So for example, I can click on this shutter camera, which is gonna pull this up and we can watch it here. And you can see it does this cool shutter effect. And what I then can do is I can click use and it'll download all the assets I need, design the project for me. And now I have this all set up in my timeline within KineMaster. And then what I can do is actually click on the photo and I can click replace and replace it with whatever I want to use here. So I just went through and replaced some of the footage here. And now when I click play, you can see that I have the exact same effect that they did in that template. And here's the other aspect of it too. As you scroll through this mix thing, I might be like, hey, I really like this wedding invitation video here. So what I can do is like it. And what that'll actually do is save it to my profile. When I click on me down here, all of the templates that I have hearted will show up under my profile. So you can scroll through that whole entire mix and find things that you like. It might be potentially wanting to use in a future video. And then you can come back here, add it to your project and be able to use it. And you can kind of tell who they're catering to. We have like some marketing templates, some corporate templates for like business owners, but there's also some stuff here for social media. There's some stuff here for vlogs. There's some stuff here for review slash tutorial content. There's something here for everyone, different templates you can use within KineMaster. But other than that, KineMaster has completely stayed the same. It's the exact same editing experience. You just have to go over to this create tab and create a project in here and then you can actually go through the exact same thing with layers, media, all that kind of stuff. All the same KineMasters here, it's just now you have a way to use templates. If you're new around here, I do editing tutorials for people on smartphones. So if you haven't checked out some of our KineMaster tutorials, check out this playlist here full of uh, different tutorials we've done already on KineMaster. Uh, but that ends this video. Thanks for watching and I hope that <laughs> clarifies some of the confusion you've had.